Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Jason. This is Art of Creation Homestead and we're in the kitchen this morning. Okay, um, it's another what do you want to do a lot what to do like eggs videos that Angela's done, enjoyed so much and it's by request. <laughs> All right, she's going to show you how to make a Dutch baby. One of my favorite breakfasts uh, on the weekend especially. It's a Dutch baby. Angela, to, Angela K is going to come over here and she's going to show you how it's done. Okay. Welcome back to another episode of what to do with all these eggs. But there's several ways to do this. You can do them with fruit in them or whatever. I'm just showing you the basics today. And normally I will do this in a blender and you can do this in a blender. And if so, you just want to blend it up for about 30 seconds on high. But today I'm going to do it with a bowl and a whisk to show you that that's all you really need. And it's really that quick. So, what you want to start out with, you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And you want a pie plate. You can also use a 9 or 10 inch skillet. I, I most of the time prefer a pie plate. What size pie plate is that? This is, I rightfully don't know, it's just a regular deep dish. It says, yeah. it's 9, point, nine and a half right. inches. It's nine and a half inch pie plate, yeah. And I have two tablespoons of butter in it. I'll show you what we do with that as soon as I get these eggs whipped up. So over here, we have three large eggs. You wanna go ahead and break the yolks and get it, just whisk them up just a little bit. Just get them broke up just a little bit. And then in this cup, we have three fourths cup of milk. You want to pour that in and whisk that together. Whisk it pretty vigorously. This is going to be your liquid ingredients. Okay, so you've got a lot of bubbles on there. Now we have one tablespoon of melted butter. And you want to drizzle that in slowly while you whisk. Okay. Now, we're going to put in about two teaspoons of vanilla. And you guys, if you've been watching me, you know I don't really measure vanilla. <laughs> so we're going to whisk that in a little bit. You're going to take this pan and you're going to put it in your 375 degree preheated oven with the butter in it because you want the butter to melt and you want your pan to start getting nice and hot that way it will start to puff immediately okay now to this mixture which you can see is already nice and frothy we're going to add three tablespoons of sugar and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and you want to get all that in there whisk it really good at this point you'll want to whisk it for about a minute so you get nice and frothy i've whisked it for about a minute and as you can see it's very frothy that's mm -hmm. what you want okay. now i'm going to add three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour and you're going to whisk it again and by the time you get this done your butter will be nicely melted in your pan and your pan will be very hot. Now you want to incorporate this in. It's not going to take long at all. You, but you want to make sure you whip your air back into it. Want, that you've deflated by adding the flour. And if you watched my popover video. You will see this looks very similar. To the popover video. This looks very similar to the batter. And it's made in a very similar fashion. Because they're, they are pretty much second cousins. This is a sweet version, basically. A sweet breakfast version. And we're going to give it a good whisk now. And now we're going to go check our butter. Now you want to give it, a, as you can see, my butter's out of the oven right now. And you want to give it one more good whisk. You are incorporating air because this just like the popovers will puff way up but the difference in this and the popovers this will puff up huge and be gorgeous and beautiful and the minute you pull it out of the oven 
and the air hits it. <laughs> flat has a pancake. Flat. <laughs> yes. But it's still delicious. Flat and dry out. Okay. Now, we're gonna pour this right into our hot pan. And that will help make the puff start because your pan is nice and hot. And it will already start cooking a little bit. Now get all of that out of there. Now we're gonna take it over to our oven and put it in there for 35 minutes. Do not open the oven door, which is the hardest part for me because I'm an oven peeker. All right, y'all, you can see this is puffed way up. Actually, it's already started deflating a little bit. But hey, it takes two hands to get it out and I couldn't get the camera. All right, but this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dish. And get right here, we'll slice it up and I'll taste it. All right, so we got it cut out and... <laughs> As you can see, it's flattened. It's, it's flattened out it's a lot. Flat. It was a lot taller before that. <laughs> Angelo, how are you going to do this from now on? From now on, yep. I am going to whisk it by hand. Yep. I am not going to use the blender <laughs> anymore. Nope. It puffed up so, so much, much higher, higher. Yep. and it's so much tender. Please, people, yep. whisk it by hand. Yep. Now, I, I don't... Don't put a ton of maple syrup on this. You don't want to... I mean, we put maple syrup on it, but don't want to put a ton on there because... The flavor is fantastic on its own, and it's going to have a little sweetness on its own. You don't want to over, over, overdo it with the, with the sweetness from the maple syrup. And you want to top um, it any way you do I, a pancake. Yeah. Mm. That's such a good, such a good bite. Now you can top this any way you want to do a pancake. Well, sometimes we'll put bananas on here. If we got strawberries or berries from front of the backyard, we'll, we'll, we'll put that on there for sure. But don't kill the maple syrup. You'll, you'll kill the flavor with it. Just some syrup. Now a ton. You always got to put more if you didn't put enough. But man, that's so good. Hey, we appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Get more of these type of videos. More um, cooking, canning, gardening, chickens, everything. You know, right? Baby chicks. Baby chickens right now. Um, so we appreciate you guys watching. Um, love you guys. God bless you and goodbye.